Mate, I stink and love cashies. I've been coming here for like 15 years. It's always fun to save a buck, especially when you're a penniless musician. You know, and speaking of which, mate, there are some genuine drum finds out there. They even have an online store that delivers to Ozpost. It is incredibly easy. Let's just say, mate, I've done a little bit of shopping for you. But like the first thing is not a treasure or a find or anything. It's, um, it's quite honestly, mate, a total waste of 19 bucks. Maybe you think it's unfair to be judging it like this without even hearing it, but I'm telling you, mate, I can already hear it. It sounded exactly like I thought. Why, why didn't you trust me? Here's a genuine find, mate, a Sabian Vault. These are top of the line. In 2012, they were merged into the AAX line, and if you wanted a six in each one of those, mate, they'd set you back like 350 bucks. This is less than half that. Yeah, I know, but you guys want manky. Well, here you go. 35 bucks, mate. A shallock percussion crash. Um, this is made out of brass. If you look at that Sabian, that is made of bronze. B20 bronze, which is one of the materials that you'd like a symbol to be made of. Brass symbols don't tend to be great. Look how yellow it is. That's how you can tell that it's a brass boy. You know, for a brass symbol, this isn't that bad, but they tend to just bonk. Let's go boo and completely die. Hey, look, mate, if you just need something to practice on, it sounds like a crash, it feels like one. 35 bucks, mate, why not? Uh, oh, uh, this is a serious disc, mate. Like, this is my K Custom Dark Ride I've owned forever. Well, a new one of these will set you back about 600 bucks. And I need to just do a video about why symbols are so expensive. But if you want to get that magic bronze on the cheap, mate, oh, this $89 Stag YR medium ride. It's made out of the same stuff. It's completely handmade in China. But the way that they make them so cheap is you don't know what symbol you're going to get. It's a total crapshoot how it's going to sound. You get some good ones. You get some bad ones. Let's roll the dice. How does it sound, mate? Probably the best sounding stag I've heard. <laughs> oh, oh, it's so dark for a 20. It's got that complex hand hammered sound. It sounds like an ancient K. And to prove that they're not all winners, mate, check out this Stag DH 20 inch jazz ride. Yeah, jazz ride, mate. It better sound swinging. It genuinely sounds like there's something wrong with it. It's like a cymbal is out of tune. It's nasty. I've played this in the drum stream and people found it quite vinegary. But man, the YR, like, it sounds great for just hamming on. But go on, mate, let's finish with some hi-hats. Uh, these didn't come from Cashies, but these are some Peisty Roods. Great name and awesome look, huh? These are B8 bronze and unlathe. These ones are from 2003. But you know what did come from Cashies? These brass bootleg ones. <laughs>
<laughs> Mine all marathons. Mm, made in Germany. It's totally what they're going for. And um, I think these should sound pretty neat. I don't know. I've got good hopes about them. Oh, they do sound neat. <laughs> they're heaps groovy. Oh, but I do got to say, in person, they're way quieter. I mean, the Roods just have heaps of volume. But yeah, brass just doesn't have a lot of energy to it. It's way softer than bronze. But, mate, they sound super neat. These might actually be my new stream hats. And I'm being dead serious. And mate, they can live lovingly alongside my other rude bootlegs, like this Canvas Savage and the just prestigious Pearl Wilds. And that's your lot, mate. Like the Vault and the Marathon, like total scores. They actually work great. That Stag YR is a total find. I could care less about the Shalik and um, Peace, more like piece of shit.